What's up everybody, I'm Rusty and welcome to another Pokemon video. In this video I'm going to show you how to get Feebus and evolve it to Milotic in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you are new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe for more Pokemon content and now let's get started. Feebus is one of the rarest Pokemon in the history of Pokemon main series games for the way it spawned back in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and since these are rather faithful remakes Feebus is extremely rare in this game too. If it appears to be too difficult for you to find, join my discord and I can trade it to you, links in the description box down below. You can find Feebus in the bottom floor of Mount Coronet. You need the hidden moves, strength, surf and defog to get there. Well, defog is optional, but it makes things so much easier because you can actually see something. You can get defog by talking to the NPC near the inside entrance of the Great Marsh at Pastoria City. Phoebus is found on four random tiles via fishing with either the Kud or Super Rod in the bottom floor of Mount Coronet. That's right, four random tiles in this huge pool of water. And that's not all. These tiles change every day. And that's not all either. They can still spawn other Pokemon in that same tile, meaning that even if you go through all of the tiles, there still is a chance that you haven't encountered Phoebus because some other Pokemon might have spawned when you were fishing from the tile that had Phoebus. So the best way to find it is to go through every single tile at least three times during a single day because tomorrow its spawn location is changed. Okay, so now you managed to actually find one, congrats, the fun doesn't stop there, because in order to evolve Phoebus to Milotic, you need to raise its beauty to the max because currently it's one ugly m- And that is done with Poffins. So head to the Poffin house in the Hearth home city. Making Poffins is rather simple, you choose 4 berries and then you play the minigame and the Poffin is done. Here are a few tips though, use both of your joysticks when steering your puffins and use blueberries because blueberries usually boost beauty because beauty is shown in blue color. You can see what conditions the puffin you made is going to boost by looking down there. Here you can see that the blue color is highlighted so we know that this puffin is going to raise beauty. There are a few more things to note here though, first of all your pokemon cannot eat puffins indefinitely. Every time it eats a puffin, its sheen will go up and once it reaches max, it cannot eat anymore. The other thing is that the higher the level of the puffin you made is, the bigger the impact to the conditions are. You can increase the level of your puffin by using better ingredients and making the puffin right, so make sure you don't overflow or burn it too much. You can see its current beauty by going to summary and then scrolling to condition tab. You can see if the beauty status is maxed if it shines like this. Now all you need to do is to level it up by giving it a rare candy or doing it the regular method. And that's pretty much it. How to get one of the rarest Pokemon ever in the history of Pokemon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. You can also support me via my Patreon or by purchasing a channel membership here on YouTube that gets you a cool badge and a nice shout out at my outro. And as always, thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.